members of the Justine Dream Team. Today I'm going to share with you my all-time favorite trainer. I love training by her way and I hope you will too. In my opinion, she is the best of the best and I really wanted to get this training method out there so I'm going to share with you today her way. She will be doing a very special demonstration for y'all and I hope you enjoy. Stacius. Today I'm going to teach you the correct way of how to ride a horse. Today I'm going to be covering a few things that I see people do so wrong. Now I'm going to show you how to fix those things. So the first thing I see incorrect is people getting their horse's head down and in a frame. Your horse isn't a picture, okay? Its head needs to be up so it can see where it's going. Never let your horse look down. Always let it look up. Not down, up. Down, up. Get it? Okay, this is correct. See how the eyeballs are now in line with its surroundings? Otherwise, them just looking straight down? So for you and your horse's safety, always let it look up. But that doesn't apply to you, okay? You always look down, never look up. Because if you look up, how else are you going to see how the horse is doing? You can't. So you look down at the horse. I find that direct eye contact is the best way to bond with your horse while riding. Next, the legs, where people think that control comes from, but we'll get to that later. If you just squeeze your horse with your legs, it ain't gonna feel that. Your leg is like a twig compared to its big body. In order to actually get a reaction out of them, you need to kick them as hard as you can. Let me demonstrate. Squeeze. No, nothing's happening. Kick! Yeah, you see my horse is running now, it's running! Go, horsey, go! And that is how to properly get your horse going forward. So after we've covered those bases, I've also seen people loosen their reins and give up release. We all know that all of the control comes from your hands into their mouth. My rule of thumb is if you lose contact, you lose control. So to prevent that from ever accidentally happening, you shorten your reins up as tight as you can. The next thing I see is a lot of horses spook at noises. Well, you have to have ears to spook at noises. Well, you can't spook at noises if I'm closing your ears for you. So I like to take the ears and put them in one hand and also put my reins as tight as I can in that hand too. Now we can't spook at noises because it can't hear anything. You also want your horse focused on what it's doing at all times. So while your horse's head is straight, you have to be its eyes for you and to tell them everything's okay. So you have to check your surroundings and then if you don't see anything, you tell your horse, it's okay, nothing's over here, keep going, it's all clear. And this will strengthen your bond at the same time. You can see how much my horse trusts me. Now, if we get into discipline specific things, one main discipline is jumping. Now I see a lot wrong with jumping, but I'll just get into a few things today. First of all, you never come off of your horse's back when you're jumping. Because do you know how hard you land on the horse when you come down from that jump? I don't think you'd like that very much if it was you being landed on. Yeah. So always keep full contact with your seat over the jump. I also see people going and leaning forward into a parallel position to the horse while they're jumping. Tell me this, when you're at a walk, are you parallel to it? No, so why would you do it in jumping? God, it makes no sense, that really just aggravates me. <sighs> you remain sitting straight when you go over the fence. And while you do that, people think that you can't help the horse over the jump. Yes, you can. You just simply grab their tail and pull it up. See how this horse has nice, kind end clearance when I pulled its tail? That's gonna get you clear over the jump too. Let me demonstrate. Kick, 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 jump! Very nice. Now we can put it all together. Head up, look down, cover ears, tighten reins, check your surroundings, say it's okay. Kick, 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 here comes the jump! What? One of my favorite exercises to do with the horse is to do bounces. Bounces, one strides, two strides, the whole jazz. Now ladies and gentlemen, this requires a lot of skill, so don't try this at home until you're ready. All clear, all clear, go, go, go! Two strides, one, two, one stride, one! Bounce, 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 bounce! That's what I call a ride! Woo! Oh, and ladies 
ladies and gentlemen, that is how to ride a horse. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. And that concludes my segment. This is Miss Stacius at your service. Come on, people. It's time to change the horse world. Train like me and you'll be professional in no time. Okay, bye. So that was Miss Stacius. I hope you learned a thing or two from her. Don't you just love her training method? But in all seriousness, this was just a joke. I'm definitely not trying to mock anyone if anyone does things like this. That literally did not even come to my mind. This was all just for a funny skit. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Join me next time. Go out there and dream, believe, achieve. Bye. Goodbye. Going. How do horses? How horses doing?